Imagine the coast as a giant sandbox, constantly being reshaped by the power of the sea. Deposition is like the sea's gentle touch, where it carefully places sand, pebbles and even larger rocks to create stunning landscapes. This happens when waves lose their energy, often in sheltered spots like bays, and can no longer carry their load of these materials. Think of a wave crashing onto the shore. It carries with it sand and pebbles picked up from the seabed. As the wave loses its energy and retreats, it leaves behind some of those materials. Over time, this continual process of waves depositing sediments builds up our beautiful beaches and other coastal formations. Not all waves are created equal. Constructive waves are the master builders of our coastlines. They have a strong swash, which is the rush of water up the beach, and a weaker backwash, the water flowing back down. This strong swash carries sediment up the beach, and because the backwash is weaker, it can't pull all the sediment back down. This process, repeated over and over, results in a gradual build-up of the beach. Longshore drift is like a slow-motion conveyor belt, constantly shifting sediment along the coast. This happens when waves approach the shore at an angle, not head-on. The swash, carrying its load of sediment, travels up the beach at that same angle. However, gravity pulls the backwash straight back down. Imagine walking diagonally across a field, then taking a step directly back. You'll end up moving sideways. Longshore drift works the same way, gradually transporting sediment along the coastline. This constant movement plays a crucial role in shaping many coastal landforms. Coastal deposition is like an artist, using sand, pebbles and the power of the waves to sculpt incredible landforms. Let's explore some of these natural masterpieces. Beaches. These are the most recognisable coastal landforms formed by the accumulation of sand, pebbles or shingle. Sandy beaches often grace sheltered bays, shaped by the gentle touch of constructive waves. Spits. Imagine a long, narrow finger of sand stretching out into the sea. That's a spit. These are formed by longshore drift, where sediment is deposited as the coastline changes direction or wave energy decreases. Sandbars. These submerged or partially exposed ridges of sand run parallel to the coast, formed by deposition in shallow water. Lagoons. These serene bodies of water are trapped behind spits or barrier islands, creating tranquil havens for wildlife, tombolos. This land bridge connects an island to the mainland, sculpted by longshore drift, as it deposits sediment behind the island. These landforms are not static. They are constantly evolving, shaped by the ever-changing forces of the waves, tides and currents. Let's dive deeper into the intricate layout of beaches. Beaches are dynamic environments, constantly shaped by the forces of nature. At the high tide mark, you'll find the highest point that the sea reaches during high tide. Conversely, the low tide mark is the lowest point the sea reaches during low tide. Between these marks, the beach is a canvas of various features. Sand dunes are mounds of sand formed by the wind, often found at the back of the beach. They act as natural barriers against coastal erosion. A storm beach is a ridge of large pebbles and stones deposited by strong waves during storms. Berms are flat raised sections of the beach formed by the deposition of sediment during calm weather. Beach cusps are arc-shaped patterns of sand and pebbles created by the interaction of waves and currents. Ripples are small ridges formed by the action of waves and currents on the sand. One of the most famous beaches in the world is Bondi Beach in Australia, known for its golden sands and vibrant surf culture. Closer to home, Tremor in Waterford, Ireland, is a stunning example of a beach shaped by both natural forces and human activity. Its long sandy beach and rolling dunes make it a popular destination for locals and tourists alike. 